Good evening, wrestling fans, from the less-than-world-famous recording booth at AWL headquarters. This is your AWL News Flash for December 2023. Okay, a lot has been happening in the world of professional wrestling and the AWL since our season finale at the end of last season, at the end of season 21. So we're going to catch you up on some of the news, and we are going to preview what's coming for the preseason of season 22. Stay tuned. The biggest story in professional wrestling, once a bloody again, <sighs> is CM Punk. Yeah, I'm just going to get to him immediately. Well, we did have plans with CM Punk to uh, be part of the Animated Wrestling League as part of a charity tie-in for a bunch of pro-transgender rights charities that are out there. And fortunately, he has gone and taken the big money and has signed a new contract with World Wrestling Entertainment. A contract that, as always, is exclusive to WWE promotions, and he is no longer able to appear on AWL programming. He will conclude, at least for now, until he screws up again, his AWL career at a lifetime record of one win and two losses, including his loss to the Emerald Dragon at the AWL Season 21 finale. From one piece of bad news to another, uh, we take a look at our injury report. We were, there were several injuries over the last couple of seasons, some quite severe. Athena Jane is still out uh, with undisclosed injuries, though we understand she is attempting to recover and get back into ring shape. Majiku, after having uh, some neck damage, a rather bad stinger, due to the neck break pile driver of Gambahishi Dark, he is out of the AWL, at least for the foreseeable future. And the most recent injury that I must report, and this should come as absolutely no surprise to anybody, but after falling through the roof of the Hell in a Cell structure all the way down to the canvas, the former Animated Wrestling League Grand Champion Black Tiger Justice is out of action with multiple injuries, and despite the fact that he more than qualifies with his win-loss record, Black Tiger Justice has withdrawn from the 2024 AWL New Year's Tournament. Now let's take a look at the future of the Animated Wrestling League. Before we get back to regular season action, we have our AWL preseason, where we take care of a bunch of the, the admin and the setup and things we need to get done before we feel we can start a season proper. With Gambahishi Dark cashing in the AWL Intercontinental Championship to become the new Grand Champion, well, that title has reverted to the AWL Joshi Division, and we are going to have a six-way scramble match to determine the new Intercontinental Champion, and I can announce them right now. Going from left to right on your screen, the ever-dangerous Shinda Akuko, the mistress of a thousand holds, Akira Merune, the original tag team, Yin and Yang, the daughter of the world of sport, Lady Smooth, Jessica Kidd, and the office lady of Zaidan J, Sakai Reina. So a good mix of wrestlers here, and you'll notice we've got two intact tag teams in this match, Yin and Yang, and... Dominant Submission, the team machine to Akako and Akira Merone. But this is a six-way scramble match. Every woman for herself, only one person can be crowned Intercontinental Champion. After that, it's going to be the tag team's turn to take over as we venture into the Crucible of Combat, the Forge the Four Tournament, a one-night, four-team for the men, four-team for the women, tag team single elimination tournament, the men's division will have the standard uh, single elimination, semi-final, and final style tournament. Over in the women's division, however, it's going to be a little bit different. Yin and Yang technically defeated the AWL Joshi Tag Team Champions, the Dancing Queens, at last season's season finale. However, of course, they did it by ring out, and therefore do not become AWL Joshi Tag Team Champions. However, this Pyrrhic victory 
the AWL commissioner believes deserves a first round bye in the tournament. So the other three teams are going to compete in a three-way dance, a triple threat elimination match where the first team to be eliminated will be the number four rank in the best four, the second team eliminated number three, and the winners of the match will face Yin and Yang immediately for the number one and two rank in the best four. After that, we're going to have our AWL New Year's Tournament. That's going to be coming up in January. And we're going to have a special Bracketology edition of the Animated Wrestling League. We're going to announce the participants. We're going to announce the first round matches. And we're going to have a match to determine who's going to be in the tournament. Because over on AWL Strong and Free, I'm not going to tell you who right now. But if you've been following, you might be able to figure this out. Probably not. Two wrestlers are tied in terms of their win-loss record, and there's only room for one of them in the AWL New Year's Tournament. So, obviously, we're going to have a match. That's right, the Bracketology Special will include a qualifying match in AWL Strong and Free. That's going to take place at the AWL Dojo, and we will see who is going to be entering, as I said, the most prestigious tournament in the AWL calendar. At least, for the moment. Because something we've been trying to do in the AWL the last few years is create some parity between the men and the women. Because we believe that that is an important thing to do in this world. Well, for many years now, for over a decade, we've been holding this Oshogatsu Taikai, this New Year's tournament. Well, the tournament's only ever been for men. I think it's time to fix that. But... These tournaments are such a massive undertaking, we're not going to do two in the same night. So we thought we have the New Year's tournament to celebrate the turning of the year, to celebrate uh, this sort of one apex of the AWL calendar. So what if we celebrated the other half of the year? Ladies and gentlemen and wrestling fans of all genders, all ages, all countries, and all everything else, I am proud to announce the formation of the Animated Wrestling League Natsu Taikai, the new summer tournament that will be broadcast next July. It will begin, I don't know if it's going to be one video or uh, several videos, but it will begin on the summer solstice of 2024, and this will be the equivalent tournament for the women. That means the top eight wrestlers in terms of win-loss records in the Joshi division of AWL Hontai and AWL Strong and Free will face each other in, in tournament action. The winner will receive a championship belt to mark her accomplishment and will get to wear that belt for one calendar year until they must surrender it and once again vie to be the top of the mountain, the hottest action of the summer. The Natsu Taikai. So that's just a preview of what's coming up in the Animated Wrestling League. We've got special guest stars from New Japan Pro Wrestling, from All Elite Wrestling, that are going to be showing up, and maybe a few that are from both and neither. Well, that's about all there is from me. Uh, the preseason for Season 22 starts this month, throughout the month of December. All those matches I just talked about, the Bracketology Special... And we will start the regular season in January with the Oshogatsu Taikai, the New Year's tour Tournament 2024. But for tonight, Koride Kimari Daa.